Good morning. When this life is over, I'm gonna live. <laughs> gonna trade this cross for a crown. This is not the end. And when you fall away, I will tell you my there's a mansion in glory, and you're going to meet me there. I shall not, I shall not, he will wipe every tear from my eyes. I shall not, I shall not. He's on my side. I shall not be this presence forever. I shall not. For the Lord is my shepherd in the valley. For the Lord is my shepherd when I'm laughing. For the Lord is my shepherd. And I shall Say on.
Amen. So we're starting a few minutes behind because I wanted to let that song run through, but it means something. So I'm going to come back to it and what it means. So good morning, everybody. Good morning, y'all. Good morning to the folks who are going to watch the replay on the YouTube streets and the Facebook streets or whatever, wherever y'all watch it. And good morning to anybody who I might be accidentally, periodically missing on Facebook because my attention span is kind of short. So I am, uh, I'm gonna share my screen, get us started y'all. And I hope everybody's having a good Monday morning so far. I hope y'all ready for this, this little message right here today because I think we need it. This is gonna be good y'all. So for, for first of all, um, I started uh, talking about this on Saturday. I, I just started with actually a question about whether or not we're approachable as Christians, we're approachable as believers, Jesus followers, whatever, you know, whatever title you have given yourself. <laughs> um, but are you approachable? Uh, and so we're going to continue into that. Um, this definitely requires our heart pos posture of us being humble and being willing to hear, um, willing to open up our hearts so that the Holy Spirit can show us, you know, what we need to do. So the question is, how can we become a safe place for the brokenhearted. So Lord, as we go into prayer now, I thank you that you've already reminded us of goodness and mercy following us all the days of our lives, but what do we do with it? What what do you want us to do with the grace that you've given us as, as we are um, seeking your face? You know, we all come heavy with our own burdens. We all have our own troubles or God. Um, but this morning, as we're, we're, we're entering into your your throne room as we come before you we know that it is it is because of your goodness and your mercy and your grace while we're here and so lord over the next couple of days i ask that you will work through each and every one as we know lord god that as we continue to seek you first in everything as we want to be more like you jesus as we surrender our hearts to you, our minds, or even our thoughts, as we surrender our gifts and talents to you so that you could use it in such a mighty, powerful way to the people that you placed in our lives, whether it's our spouse, our partners, our children, or our friends, even colleagues, Lord God, or strangers, Lord, that especially in this season that you show us who you want us to be. And I ask, Lord God, even now, so as each and every person here is asking for, you know, great blessings in their lives, whether it's in their health or their finance or, or job searches or Lord, anything that we are standing in need of, we don't want any of our blessings to, to become corrupted or to corrupt us. So I ask our God that you'll work on our hearts or God so that we can be more like you this season. And as we're receiving all the blessings that you have for us, as you're as you're putting us into these atmospheres and environments, as you're sending us off to do your work, whether it's a witness in a marketplace or a witness on the job, a witness in our marriages, a witness as a as a parent or a friend or aunt, Lord God, as you're sending us on these assignments, Lord God, teach us how to be more like you, to be kinder, to to carry the fruits of the Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that that each and every one of us, wherever we go, we are carrying the atmosphere of heaven. As you've taught me so many times, it's more important that we are more like you, that we have your light, not be hypocrites, not be hateful, not be judgmental, but to carry the same goodness and mercy that you're giving to us, to others. And especially in this season of chaos, Lord God, I pray that now, that, be that before we leave this call today, that you'll point out in each and every one of us, in our own hearts, and our own thoughts, what are the things that we need to change so we can do better? We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to come before your throne and showing us what's truly on your heart, what matters to you, Jesus. That's what we want to understand this morning. So give us revelation and give us wisdom, Lord God, so we can hear your voice clearly, clearly, clearly this morning. Amen, amen, amen. 
All right, y'all. So there's a, a verse. It says, I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. And so just right now, again, it's just for us to leave your, cast your troubles to the side for a moment. We're going to seek you, Lord. We're going to believe that you answer us and deliver us from everything. So just one minute or a few seconds, even just again, putting our heart in that posture to say, Lord, I'm seeking you out. I know you're going to answer me and deliver me. So as you're saying that prayer, again, we're just getting ourselves ready. <laughs> you know, we're getting ourselves ready. We're getting ourselves ready. Thank you, Lord, that as we are seeking you out, I know that you're going to answer us and deliver us from everything that we are standing in need of this morning, that we won't walk away guessing or wondering if we're going to hear from you. We won't walk away guessing or wondering if you're still Yahweh, our creator, our God. We won't walk away guessing whether you're sending divine help. We won't walk away guessing whether you're in this moment. You are already here. So we worship and acknowledge you this morning. We bless your holy name. We thank you that as we have sought your face, Lord God, that you are answering us and delivering us from our fears and our troubles and our worries right now. We thank you, Lord, for what you are already doing in this moment and receive. We receive what heaven says about every person here and every every person and every family attached or connected to us in any way. Any person within this prayer ministry, Lord God, that is standing in need of our, uh, the, any anyone who wants to hear from you this morning, Lord God, as we are seeking you, that we are that you are answering and you're opening the doors for us. That this day stands as a mark, Lord God, for those who are so troubled and so in need of, of your voice, Lord God, this morning, that they will hear you and you will deliver them according to your word. I, 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 I bring your word back to you this morning, Lord God. So we know that we're going to hear from you and you're going to deliver us from evil this morning. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Amen. 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 All right, confession is good for the soul, but it also puts us in a posture where we are reminded of who we serve. It's not, it's really not about um, how how great we can pray or how much scripture we know. It's really about a heart posture surrendered to him. So as we speak this out, you know, as we're saying our confession, almighty God, open your mouth. We acknowledge and confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you, love you with all our hearts, soul, mind, and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. Deep within, within us, our sorrow for the wrong we have done and, and the good we have left undone. undone. Lord, you are full of compassion and gracious, and slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. There is always forgiveness with you. Restore to us the joy of your salvation. Bind up that which is broken, give light to our minds, strength to our wills, and rest to our souls. Speak to each of us and let our work, your word, abide with, until it's wrought in us, your holy will. Amen. 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 And just take a just take a few seconds and let this really sink into your own hearts right now. And whatever it is that you feel you need to confess or repent for, go ahead. You don't have to say this out loud. Just between you and the throne room, go ahead and release that right now. Father, as we are saying our own individual confessions, you know truly what we have done. You know every thought, you know every action, you know every deed, you know every spite, you know every envy, every jealousy, you know every fear, every worry, every concern. We lift that up to you now, Lord God, and we recognize that you, you are uh, our Father. And so we come to you confessing all and everything that we have done. If we've said anything to our spouse, our partners in anger, maybe it's just even been a thought or a dream or something that we've concocted, anything that uh, takes us away, anything that we've done that shows us uh, merciless or, or hurtful or judgmental or unkind to other people, Lord God, I ask now that you will forgive us, Lord God. We have been whipped up in a frenzy, and Lord, I ask that you'll forgive us for our thoughts, anything that we've said with neighbors, Lord God, who we don't agree with, Lord God, I ask that you will forgive us now. We confess everything now in our hearts, and we give that over to you. I thank you that your word said that there's no condemnation in Christ. So as we release this to you now, Lord God, I thank you for your holy forgiveness. I thank you, Lord God, that you are lifting our spirits right now. And for those who feel condemned that are watching this on the replay, I thank you, Lord, that you are lifting their spirits. And as we draw closer to you, as we, as we come to, to know more about you, we come to understand that you are truly a God of love and forgiveness and gentleness. I thank you for fighting for us, Lord God, this morning. I thank you for hearing our confessions. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. So we got three prayer points and I have some notes here just to help us through it, help me through it. But before we get into it, 
Um, I just wanted to share something kind of something that I've been seeing on the streets, y'all. And so again, this is a, a chance for us to learn, right? How, how to look more like what would Jesus do? And especially now, because we're in um, a season of, again, folks are whipped up. Um, I won't even say it's, it's just a political season. Folks are whipped up anyway. <laughs> and and so I'm speaking more to those of us who ha are claiming ourselves to be um, Christians, meaning, you know, we receive the Lord Jesus because there are people who are saying they're Christians and they don't, they don't even know the word at all. Um, but, uh, you know, on Facebook and on social media and it's seeing some of the things that we're, we're talking about me, we meaning the community, the body of Christ, not all of us. Right. And, uh, and this weekend there was a, the two things, there were posts that uh, has been circulating um, with um, these women. I think they're trying to make a point about babies and they're sharing these images of um, children who are no longer with us, if you know what I mean. And they're trying to really strike the point that Christians need to stand up against um, uh, abortion. And they're showing these extremely vile images of children who are dead. And then, um, and then, uh, then the other one is, um, Post going around where it's telling you that um, you've got to vote for a, a, a person, whether it's a man or a woman. And some of these pastors are taking advantage of it to whip up frenzy in the church to say that if you don't vote one way or the other, um, the church will not be saved, as if man can save God's church. And there, there's so many levels of um, pain that some of these things that we say and we do as believers that hurt the very people who we think we're trying to bring into the body of Christ. <laughs> you know, I, I was sitting in this weekend and I was like, my God, I, what would it be like if someone is broken in spirit and they're seeing me as a, an auntie, right? As an aunt. And they, they, they wanted someone who purported to have a relationship with God, purported to be a Christian and a follower of Jesus. And now they know that this person has such righteous judgment that they can't even connect with us, y'all. They might know that you're the greatest prayer warrior in the world, but you know, just by the nature of what you're saying and your actions, they'll never reach out to you for prayer because of how we're operating. We're not meant to be like the world. And our, you got to remember when it, when when the word is talking about the world, it's not just you know the people who are quote unbelievers. It's us. <laughs> We're inhabitants of this world. So there, so so there's a need for us for 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 us to be more like Christ. That's why it says be more like Him, not like your pastor who might stray you one way. It's not like be like your politician who might stray you like another way. It's not like being like your, you know, your powerful prayed up auntie or your friends, right? It's about being like him. And so uh, as we're thinking about being more of a, 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 a lighthouse, if you will, we are the people that he is sent out, right? So how can we be more of a safe place for other people, broken people, hurt people um, to come to us so that they can have a safe place? place, a safe space, right? We talk about this all the time in corporate, in the corporate lifestyle about, we talk about having this culture where people, where people feel like they belong or um, being inclusive, or we talk about being a safe space. But Christians, we're doing a horrible job at it, just for real, okay? We, you know, we have to live the kind of lives where when I see you outside, when you come out of your prayer closet, and I see you, whether I'm going through hurt or pain or whatever, right? Whether I'm a believer or not, that I know that I can come to you, brothers and sisters, and say, I've done a thing, pray with me, or, or you know, help me, help me through this. What should I do? And you're ref you're be you're referring them back to Jesus, but your heart posture is mercy. It's not judgment. It's not being unkind. It's not you know. It's not throwing things back in people's faces. The very mercy that we are 
uh, where the word says goodness and mercy. Why do you think goodness and mercy are following us all the days of our lives? It's because these two spirits, goodness and mercy, are things that we need every single day. We need the goodness of God and we need his mercy. So if we need that, the people around us need that. We go into overflow when we get it from him so we can pass it on to somebody else. Amen. So these three these three prayer points uh, are, are are about that. Our first pastor right now is Lord. I want look Lord. I want you to use me in this world. I want to be a safe refuge. I want people you know to, who who you have assigned. Again, you know why aren't things working out for you? Why are things stalling? You know why are people being removed from you? Come on now. It's not always like I said on Saturday. It's not always you know you know the Lord is pulling out bad people out away from me. You might be the source. <laughs> He's pulling people from you, right? Right. So, so we want to be the safe space. We want him to use us. We want to be those people. We want to be the light, y'all. Um, we, you know, we want to be, again, we want to be his heart. We want to be the witness of his mercy, his ambassadors. So Psalm 34, verse 18, it says, the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. And these are prayers that we're going to say now for those around us. And if you are the one who is brokenhearted, and if you are the one who feels crushed in spirit, then this is a prayer point where you say this for yourself, because you can't, you can't save anybody else if you're a mess, right? We got, we got to get ourselves together first. So the Lord is near to the brokenhearted. And I'm giving you these prayer focuses um, to help you understand what we're trying to do. We're asking for God for his presence to be felt among those who feel busted up, lifting up their spirits and reminding them that he is close, but we're coming from a heart posture of mercy. So the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. And He, if he gives you the name of someone, if he drops a name of someone in your spirit or a location uh, or a community, if he drops your job, if he drops something in your spirit, then that's what you pray for. Amen. That's how it works. So go ahead and pray for the first thing is, Lord, I want you to be near the brokenhearted, Lord, and save the crushed in spirit and use me, Lord. I want to be a safe refuge for the brokenhearted. You know, use me as your vessel, Lord God, to reach out, Lord, to, to you know, to the brokenhearted and those who are crushed in spirit. Lord, help them, Lord God, those who might need you this morning. So that's your prayer point. Take it where you, you know, take it where you get. If you pray in spirit, pray in spirit. So Lord, as we are asking this morning, the first thing is we thank you for allowing us your mercy. Thank you for giving us your mercy and the goodness of this day. Father, I thank you for right-siding our relationship, not just with you, but also with those you've put around us. Uh, we have just, um, we have just not done a good job, quite frankly, Lord. We are so caught up in our own worlds and our own silos that we tend to forget that we need a heart posture of mercy towards those around us. Lord, there are so many people who are brokenhearted, so many people, um, you know, men, women, boys, and girls who are crushed in spirit going through so much right now. There's a lot of loss happening and a lot of blame. People need someone or something to blame right now. Father, I ask that you would just, would you use us, those who are willing as your vessels this morning, so that we'll be the safe place for the brokenhearted and the crushed in spirit. And when you rent, when, when you send them our way, Lord God, oh, Holy Spirit, would you would you give us the right words give us wisdom so we know how to respond when the brokenhearted and the crushed in spirit show up lord sometimes it's not you know it's not reading out a a scripture. Sometimes it's just being a safe place for people to come to, to know that they won't be judged and that we will be kind and there will be mercy. We don't know what people are going through. We don't know what drives them to make the decisions that they have made. But Lord God, it's not to up. It's not up to us to judge the world. It is you. That is your, that's your role. So great Yahweh, I asked this morning that as you send those people and for those Lord God, we have these very people in our household. We have spouses Houses that won't speak to their, their wives. We have children that won't speak to their mothers. We have uh, uh, husbands or God that won't speak to their children because they are brokenhearted. They are disappointed. They feel crushed in spirit. We have women who are suffering in so many private, quiet ways. They won't share with anyone because the church mother is going to judge them. We have old women going after young women and, and judging them openly on social media as if, Lord God, as if we are not, as 
if anyone of any one of us can cast a stone. Lord God, we have forgotten to 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 ma'ara your mercy that you have shown to us, Lord God. Father, I ask that now that the brokenhearted in our lives, those who are so disappointed on the job that they lead by fear, those who are broken in spirit this morning, Lord God, from disappointment because the things haven't worked out the way they thought, Lord God. Any person who you place in our part, in our path, Lord God, let this be, let us be a soft place, Lord God. Father, would you speak to our very hearts, Lord God, and show us, every single one of us who are asking to be used, to be your vessel, Lord God, every single one of us who calls ourselves Christian, who have aligned ourselves with your word, Father God, I ask, Lord God, that you will, you touch them this morning, and you purify, purify their hearts and their tongue, Lord God, and you put them on a different path, away from judgment and more mercy, Lord God, I ask that you will do that this morning. Father, every person who is brokenhearted or crushed in spirit this morning, I pray that you will lift them this morning and let them know that even if they can't uh, find a person, they have you and you will send them the right help. You will send them divine connection. You will send them the right community, communities that will pray with them and for them, not out of judgment, not to score points on a board, Lord God, not to show how learned they are or how smart they are, but show how good they are and how much mercy we have for each other other father I ask that you will do that now for those who you've aligned to us who are broken hearted lord god lord would you even interrupt our very prayer points lord god those who are asking you for financial needs and, and health needs and all of the things we have our our checklist of things that we need we know that every single family represented is in need of some bread man manna where it, whether it's spiritual or natural from you god you need know that we all stand in need of your throne room this morning of a touch just a word from you god oh lord but i know that your heart is in you are concerned about how we are treating each other and how we are treating your children how we are treating the assignments you gave us Lord god okay lord so lord i ask that you not you just speak to our hearts Lord god and and turn us right sided lord god so we can be the safe place Lord god for those who are hurting this month those who are hurting this month Monday, those who are hurting this year, Lord God, look at vacation. We prepare us, Lord God, so that we know what the right thing is to say. We're not expected to save them, but there is a word you have in our belly based on the experiences that you have put us through. So many of us are going through the things this morning, but I thank you that you will use the remnant. I thank you, God, that you will use every person under the sound of my voice, whether they believe it or not, Lord God, that you will take the crumbs, Lord God. If only we were willing and that we, Lord God, will be the ones that will, will just through our lives, Lord God, just through the way that we show up, Lord God, that we will bless the people among us, those who are brokenhearted and look at my enter and seek in your face, Lord God. Thank you, God, that we are the light. Thank you for turning up the flame in our lives. We need to wake up. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 41 10 says, fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So we're asking for prayer, for courage right now. Again, this is a heart posture of courage so that we have the strength, y'all. We have the strength to do what we are asked to do so that we can be that place not just, you know, not just so we can say, oh, God is good. Not just so you throw out a verse on, on social media, but in real life, when people see you, that, <laughs> amen, in real life, that we become the place. So these this scripture, fear not for I am with you, is this is for us to be reminded that you know, he's not going to send you on any assignment not ready and, and make it a show. And so for you to remember that he is with us, that he's our God, that he's going to help us, he's going to strengthen us, he's going to uphold us, he's going to give us the courage to be kind and the courage to be merciful because it is hard and it takes work. So pray this prayer out right now. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, as we are praying, Lord, I thank you that you are with us. That's what your word says. We have no reason to be fearful or in dismay, Lord God. That you are our God, that you yes, strengthen us. You, you, you that uphold us. Lord yes, God. God. Every area that you send it send us into, we yes, have no fear Lord, or worry, Lord God, because you are our Jesus God. God. 
We go up, at, up against people who might, if the yes, best for their Jesus. belly, consider themselves our enemies because we don't yes, believe anything. Strengthen Lord our tongue, Lord God. Lord God, cause us not to Lord curse each other. Cause us not to curse each other. Lord God, that's yes, what the enemy wants. He wants yes, for believers Lord. to be against believers, fathers against sons, and mothers against daughters. Uh, we don't want to live that kind of life, yes, Lord God. Lord so, Lord God, we ask that you strengthen us in this time, Lord God. Strengthen us with the people we work with, Lord God. Strengthen us with the people in our household, Lord God. <laughs> Even as we're preparing for the holidays, there's already people who are concerned and fearful and worried about the tables they're going to sit around and who's coming and who's not coming, Lord God. Father, would you strengthen us now? Give us the courage, Lord God, to be in front of our friends and our family, Lord God, and show up with mercy. Give us the courage to have more mercy. Give us the courage to have more goodness, not to win an argument, not to score a point. Lord God, even strengthen us when the times come when we have to just be quiet and let you work these things out. Lord God, when we don't have the right word, the right answer to fall back and to yield to you, Holy Spirit. So you lead and work these things out. Give us this quiet, Lord God. Give us this strength God. to close our mouths so we don't curse others, Lord God. So the curse does not fall upon our heads, Lord God. Father, strengthen us and, and yes, help us God. right now, Lord God, as a nation, as a country, Lord God. <laughs> Father God, I ask that you strengthen us right now, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, that you have never Jesus. left us. Thank you that because Thank of your holy word, we have nothing to fear. We have nothing Thank to be worried about. Thank Hallelujah, you that you have already done this moment, Lord God, for building yes, us up, Lord God. Father, us of joy in this moment, Lord Thank God. You, Lord Give Jesus. us your holy strength, Lord God. Give us your holy yes, strength. God. Give them a heart posture of courage, Lord God. Yes, and God. God. To be kind and Thank you, God. God, Lord God. Those who don't know what to say Thank because you, they are so fearful of what's happening around them, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Those who you have marked and set aside yes, as leaders now can make it right yes, now, Lord God. Father, kindness, kindness, and yes, mercy. Sir. Give us kindness and mercy. Be our portion, and God. We have in called on heaven Jesus. to give it for our household. Yes, we have God. called on heaven. In the name us. of Jesus. Glorify yourself through us so that they see yes. your mercy. Glorify yes. yourself through us so they see your kindness yes. and your love. Glorify yourself through us so that they see yes. the fruits yes. of the Jesus. Spirit. When they yes. see us, we don't even need to I utter a word. God. We will know that we yes. inhabit God. you, Holy Spirit. They yes. can look at our lives and know that we are truly you. Are you. you are God. God. But the EDC, yes, see you morning, on the job, Lord God, when they see us this morning, that they will know that we are truly yes, yours, God. that we have been Great marked God. and set apart. You we don't have to use scriptures as God. weapons. We don't have to do Lord, that. God, you thank you for your help, Lord God. Give us your mercy so that we can give it to others. And when we are in overflow of your blessing, let us, Lord God, bless other people. Lord God, those who you've called in this time to teach God, a supernatural noise. the prayer ministries representing, Lord God. Give them the courage to teach to lead people how to pray the mercy. Your word, God. Praise, your Lord word. God, driving men back yes, to you. God. We don't In the want name to of Jesus. Or confuse your word. Yes, God. Jesus. Thank your you word, that the God. angel of the Lord will help us. Thank, Thank you that you, the angel of the Lord will determine Thank what is you, Lord next Jesus. for us. Thank you that the angel yes, of the Lord God. is going ahead and declare In the name of Lord Jesus. God. Thank you, Lord God. Lord, we bless for every name, single God. person who you've called in this yes, God. A prayer ministry, yes, leader, God. Lord God, that we are praying not by of... judgment, yes, but we are taking by the spirit, God, but by your spirit, Father, so they can pray, Lord. Teach them yes, how to God. pray. That is Do our in the name of Jesus. Teach them how to pray. Teach them how yes, to connect God. Back to your heaven. Words, God. Thank you, your Jesus. word, Thank God. you, Lord. Thank in you, Lord, the name for of the Jesus. assignments that you have given that we'll be completing Anything this that month. That we will complete our assignments because we are not afraid. We don't have to. Lord God, no procrastination, no brain fog. Yes, it is. Take care of my children. That's what he wants. Yes, God. 
able to teach and be yes, Lord able Jesus. to lead on the job. Lead us, God. For your siblings, supernaturally, you God. Family members. Yeah, can I share? If you want to yes, know, God. God. Thank you, God. You have to have a one on one yes, relationship. Yes, Lord Jesus. It's all he is saying right, right posture, God. God. my children, that means believers and the unbelievers, the very people that you are cursing. He's expecting you to bless them. I know it's an upside down kingdom that we are in. I know it doesn't make any sense, but you cannot approach these days thinking that you can one up each other with a word or a picture. Oh God. So God, I thank you, Lord, whatever you have asked them to do that you will reveal it to them. Lord God, those who have been because we're trying to outjudge yes, Look at my that it will Thanks, be revealed to you Jesus, in time. If you've been Jesus, asking him what's the purpose for this season Thank and what's you, the Lord purpose Jesus. for this assignment, it will be revealed to you in time. Thank just God. do the thing, one step, one foot in front of the other, and and just look at just trust him to put you in the right places and the right spaces you see don't understand yes, that the one step that you take is connected to another step that somebody else takes we are in a yes, God. jesus it's all thank connected. you lord the very people that you are criticizing the very people that you are cursing they are carrying yes, assignments yes, from him in their because you gotta be careful who you mm -hmm. are that can curse this season that's why yes, Jesus mercy that's why goodness and mercy yes. and that's why those two are following yes. us every day of our life yes. it's not just a psalm it's not just a song they're not just words they are spirits thank you god that the angels of goodness and the angels of mercy are following us every day you see everywhere we go we're meant to have goodness and mercy that's what it means father god i ask that you will open their eyes to see what you mean and we carry this thing with us not just carry it, but we bless other people around us. Thank you, God, for waking us up this morning, Lord God, and interrupting our own character. Thank you, God. Those of us who are so educated and high-minded that we have forgotten the least of these, that you've got to come back down to where he found you. And serve. Serve those who don't know him. And you serve that by showing up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We want to be approachable Christians. We want to be the places where people come to for help and for prayer. And when they come to us, for God, that you prepare us in this moment moment. Sometimes it's just a word. Sometimes it's just a smile. Even in the middle of this hateful, chaotic season that you're expected to be the light and not be like everyone else. Even if that everyone else is your pastor, it's time for you to step up to your assignment and stop waiting for somebody to tell you what to do. Stop using prayer as an excuse. He's already told you what to do. You've got to be obedient or move off the assignment. He will send some want to complete the work if you don't do it. Thank you, God, for talking to our hearts this morning and waking us up, Lord God, for blessing us, Jesus. Amen. Matthew 5, Matthew 5, 4 says, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now we're going to pray for comfort and healing for anybody who has dropped in your spirit, who's carrying a burden. And if that person is you and you're carrying that burden, Pray for yourself. Father, as we are now shifting to pray for those who are in need, those who are heavily burdened this morning, those who are carrying things, Lord God. Father, we don't know every situation of all and every family represented, but you do. You know what's in our hearts. You know what's in our wallets. You know what's in our bags. You know what's happening on the job. You know what's happening in this country. You know what's happening in these households, Lord God. You know, Lord God. You know the lives that we've been kissing. You know the lives that we've been taking today. You know the lives that will be spared today. You know, Lord God, those who have been anointed, those who can imagine, those who have been removed, those who have been allowed to fall. Lord God. So, Lord God, I pray for comfort, Lord God, for every person under the sound of my voice and every person they come in contact with, Lord God. Morning loss this morning, whether they are back to see whether it is a financial or a health loss, Lord God, or maybe they're just losing, they're just losing their own oh God, mind, Lord God. They feel like they're losing those who are just exhausted. 
It is so far away. So I pray for everyone who's mourning the loss of something. Thank you, Lord. I mourn the loss of my brothers and sisters who handed themselves over to the yes, world. Lord. They carry the name Jesus. Christian, but they are not. You do not know them. They do yes, not know yes, you. I mourn the loss of the leaders in the church. I mourn the loss yes, of the mothers of the board. I mourn the yes, loss God. of the of the, the five folks that held themselves yes, over. I mourn the loss of those who were set aside to worship. I mourn the loss of God. God. I mourn the God. Those who have left your their own kingdoms, Lord God. I mourn the loss, Lord God. Lord, I ask that you will comfort every single person that I have laid out before you and draw them back to you, God. Lord God, let this be a season where we come back home. Lord God, those are kind of it is seeking. You know those who you have marked to do such a thing. Thank you, God. I know that not every soul. That lives will be lost, Lord God. Yes, God. You know that there is loss in this season that doesn't make We pray for your comfort, Lord and Jesus. We pray that you comfort us in this time of loss, God. Of the righteous, Lord for God. everything the kingdom of God is stolen, God, for scorn in the name of Jesus. Bless us even so. Yes, that you God. Even so. Put it to your will and your way, God. Day, under the sound of my Thank voice, you, Lord Jesus. Let them be the safe place Thank you, God. for God. Let them be the safe yes, place God. for God. Our morning. Yes, Let those who are broken in spirit find them. Yes, and when God. you find us, Lord God, give us yes, the word God. in our hearts, Lord God. Give us yes, the word Lord God. Let us be filled with joy, Lord God. In Let the name of Jesus. Jesus. Your grace and your mercy. We reach out to you, God. God. Open our hearts, God. Bless them with a word, yes, a reassurance, an encouragement, something that inspires them about you and them back to you. Let our lives, Lord God, let our lives be walking ministries and testimonies. We do glorify you, Lord. We bless us and open the Bless other people. Father God, so that when you send those who are mourning, when you send them, when they look like a son or a daughter or a daughter in law, son in law, a nephew and niece, to be an enemy, Lord God. Surrender them right now in the name of Jesus. Put a Don't word in our hearts to know the right things to lost their faith, God, that lost their push, God, that lost their zeal for our God. Thank you, Lord, for that you restore the woman in the midst of the God. Yes, of God. Yes, of God. No matter where they are, God. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, God. No matter what they're going through, Lord God. Thank you, God. Give us the right words to say, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, help us. Teach us how to pray. Teach us yes, what to God. ask you for, Lord God. Lord, I know it's I know it's bigger than our bills and our kids. I know it's bigger than our yes, cars being started. I know it's bigger than a promotion. I know that it is, Lord God. You cannot Lord, be to show us how to get us. souls. I know back it's bigger than the minimum of the day because you have already given that to us. We want to be in alignment with what you want to be in alignment with what your will is, Lord God. We want to get our souls right now. What do you want us to do? What do you want to do? Lord, that's what we want. We want to be in a line because we know that every single thing else, God, we know that our time on this land is marked. We are not meant to be God. So, Lord yes, God, God, while we are here, yes, we are connected to us. God. While we are here, we want to be seated at your feet. Your Kingdom. While you, while we are here, we want to be in the same place that the people yes, see God. us, and they'll truly see the power yes, of the Holy God. Spirit in our God. lives. God. How many Christians Nothing who are so but you, God. Nothing but they are you, so God. with hate and judgment. But God. They are so quick Nothing to judge. God. They're so quick to curse other people. Yes, Lord they Jesus. don't know who Lord you Jesus. are. Oh, God, that's why we are so <laughs> in fact for like God. You know. Your own children. You have love and patience and kindness like you, God. That there is a turnaround you to more than enter anything, Lord God, that you will reveal yourself mercy, to their God. hearts. Remind them where you took them from. people from where you they are, God, God, not where we want them you to be. Us, all of us, broken in heart, broken in spirit. That's where we met you. You need to be our Lord and Savior when we were on our knees. You need to be our Lord and Savior when we were on our knees. You need to be our Lord and Savior when we were on our knees. And you yeah, didn't you try to put it in day. the most broken places of my life. You saved us. What makes me think that you won't do that for yeah, other people? God. What makes me think yeah, that we won't do that for other people? 
Lord, speak to our hearts this morning. Broken, Lord God. Those who are lowly in spirit this morning, and meet them, Lord God. While they are on their feet, they are crying out to you. Lord, those who are just tired of the way things are going, they're tired of the lives they are living, and they want to turn around this morning. Oh Lord, would you show them your heart? Would you would you draw them to you and, and show them your every love? Single one God. Every single one the fullness of joy, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for giving dreams and visions to the daughters, Lord God. But give them understanding. Run with fear. Those are you need us to see that. Every encounter with you be supernatural. A ministry on earth. Give us your grace. Give us your grace, Lord God. Let us be a place that people can come to. Now, feeling Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Should I keep up or should I keep it? Thank you. So many of us are looking to the church. Where so many people are looking for the church. You got nigger pastors to see. Oh, I look right in our homes, God. I look at your angels here, God. Man, it's not your pastor. It's not your evangelist. Prophet, to be more like you, not your politician. It's not even you walk like you move like you got. Oh Lord, I'm like crying out to you. Like you got, pray Thank like you, Lord. Save us, Lord God. Thank you for even from our souls, those who've been blessed by you. Save love us, Lord. Like you got, only you can, and turn us around. Yes, Lord yeah, Jesus. This morning, that's Lord, right. Lord, we need you, God, to do God. it this week, God. As we set out, God, heart, Lord God, we're supposed to go ahead of us, God. That's humble, Lord God. That's humble, that's humble, Lord God. Lord. God. So that people can feel okay coming to you to pray. Oh God. For oh God. Oh God. Father, give us wisdom for anything that we are speaking or reading or writing, Lord God. If it's going to hurt another group, if it's going to hurt somebody else, Lord God, give us a moment, Lord God. Talk to us and, and teach us how to pause. Who is it going to hurt when I say this? Who am I going to remove? Who am I going to set a set of a way? What, what is the message here? Look, God, would you just speak to our hearts? And before we hit send on anything today, emails on the job, e you know, phone text, anything, before we do anything, Lord God, we want to pause and just ask the question, is this helpful or hurtful? Is this, what would Jesus do? <laughs> Amen. He wouldn't be gossiping. He wouldn't be hating. Oh, God, he wouldn't be causing chaos. He would be helpful and encouraging. Encouraging. Thank you, Jesus. No matter what the situation is, it is still a choice. And you know, Lord, I thank you because I thank you for loving us so much that even when we make the wrong decision and we come to you with confession, truly, and repentance from our heart, that you will accept it. You will forgive us. And that's what people don't understand. They don't understand mercy that goes beyond all understanding. The kind of mercy that when we make a mistake, if we come to you with a true true heart posture, asking for forgiveness and repenting for our sins, that you are quick to forgive us. As your word says that you will remember our sins no more. But in the world, we are teaching each other that you've got a, a, a long list and you're keeping track. If only they understood that that is not the case. So Father God, I ask that you will even bring back to memory to those who you have already forgiven for their sin so that it's not being held over their heads, Lord God. So that is what the enemy wants, to, to tell us that you are so far removed and yet you are right here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that you're with us every day. You've done that through the Holy Spirit. You've given us the power and the authority to create and destroy. So, Father God, I ask that today we are creating joy and we're creating peace. And we're creating the, the goodness of God and we're creating mercy. And every person that touches us and every person that comes around us will see that. Thank you, Lord God, for those, Lord God, that you're pushing through a season right now of just purification where you, you're showing us, Lord God, that the, the things that are up 
of you and the things that are not. I pray that, that we'll be willing in heart to receive what you're saying, Lord God, so we can turn things around. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this powerful Monday, Lord God. We thank you as we are closing out this month of October. We thank you that you have brought us here. Not everybody made it, but those souls that you have taken, we thank you for those that you, you've placed in our lives for a temporary time. We thank you for those who are, even those who are mourning the loss of love and the loss of children, the loss of friends and family members and spouses, co-workers, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that you would even touch their hearts and give them just a burst of joy, knowing that that, that soul is blessed. Like, thank you, Lord, for those you have placed in our life for such a short time. None of us know how long we are here. So for the time that we have left, God, we want to make an impact. We want to make an impact in the people around us, in our communities. We want to do for each other. We want we want to show your mercy. We want to experience your fullness of joy, your goodness in the land of the living. I thank you, God, for everything that you're blessed us with today. Remove from us anything that is not meant for us. If it's not from you, we don't want it, including people, places, and things. Lord God, I thank you, Lord God, for your blessing this morning. Amen. Amen. All right. I don't know if I missed anything. If I missed anything, the word says, whatever you ask in prayer, you'll receive. I believe we have faith. We believe God. So just take a minute in your heart. If there's anything else, uh, if he gave you a family member or a coworker or anything, you get, anything is, is if heaven is, if he's dropping it in your spirit to pray for something, go ahead and pray, release that now. And Lord God, if we have missed any, anything, Lord God, any person, any place or anything, Lord God, we, that is placed on our hearts right now, we're giving that over to you. We thank you, Lord God, that you have heard our cries, whether it came out through our mouth or it's in our hearts. I thank you, Lord God, that you're blessing every family represented. Father, I thank you that this is going to be an amazing day, an amazing week as we're closing out this month of October, that there's still good news coming. And I thank you, Lord, for the blessings of today. I thank you for victory wherever we go today, that every meeting we have is going to be successful, that we don't have to be fearful or, or worried about what's going to happen on the job, Lord God. I, I thank you, Lord God, as we are going through this week that you have blessed us, Lord God. Thank you for blessing our children, whether they are young or old. <laughs> Amen. Thank you that you're watching over our household, Lord God, that you are protecting our homes, Lord God. Any, anyone who is traveling or commuting today, that they'll, they're will they going to be blessed going out and blessed coming in, that there won't be any untimely death, that if there's anything that was spoken against them in spirit, Lord God, God, anything that the enemy brought up to your courts or God, any, anything that we have gotten ourselves attached to any agreements we made that wasn't for us, that you remove it. Now we want to be blessed today. We want to sense and hear from you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for every person who's going to be speaking to a child today, especially that they'll do that through kindness, not confusion. And that they'll do that through mercy. Father God, would you remind all of us, Lord God, that you brought us up. You came down from heaven. You came down to our a level. You stripped yourself of your glory so that you could walk among us. How humbling that is. Father, would you put that seed in us as we are walking this, this day out, that, that we just have a heart that's humble and grateful. We're thankful for everything. Lord, we don't all have everything that we need. There are still people who have lack, Lord God. There are still uh, checkbooks that are on zero, below zero. There are still people who are seeking out for financial needs. There are still people who are in jail, Lord God, we're praying for release. There are still people who are having health issues and, and job search issues. There are still so many things that we stand in need of. And I know that God, I'm believing that you're going to open the doors. I'm believing that even in these experiences, that there is a blessing coming from it, that you'll use every single thing that we're experiencing, Lord God, as a way to glorify you, that you glorify yourself through us, through every single experience. So when we look back next year, this time, all we have to say is what a mighty God I serve. When we look back next year, Lord God, on, on this day, we can say, look at what God God has done. This day will be a testimony, Lord God. When we look back on this day, Lord God, next year, we can say, look at Abba. Look at what he did. Look at how amazing he is. Look at the victories. Look at how blessed I am. Look at what he has done. That this day becomes a day marked in our calendar. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Let this day, yes, Lord God, God, mark it, Lord yes, God. God. Mark this day in your heavenly books. Yes, Lord Jesus. 
turned around for us. Let this day, Lord yes, God, I hear God. from that. We look back and, and yes. give you worship and, and praise. We can't stop yes, singing. Lord, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, King. Yes, holy, yes, holy, yes, holy yes, God yes, Almighty. Look God, what you are. Let this day be a day, Lord God. God. We look back and we see your grace. We praise you in it. We are sitting in the middle of the God. Oh, but you are purifying us. Yes, look, oh God. Oh, look, oh God, God at your so sons and daughters glorifying you, dancing around the so fire. Good, oh God, screaming hallelujah. So good, God. You are Thank wonderful. You, Lord, you are awesome. You're amazing. We're oh, worshiping we you. We're thanking God. you. We are praising God, you. We are praising you. I thank you, God, that from now all we can see is a victory. Oh God, I thank you that a year from now we see you. We see that you were the fourth man in the fire. Oh, I thank you, God, that a year from now we have nothing but praise God. Our situations won't even look like they look like now. I thank you, God, that you are turning things around. Oh God that we are now in your grand will for our lives. Now we want what you have for us, which is so much better. I thank you for the testimonies that's coming October 2025 of what you have done for us. I speak that because I believe it. I speak that because that is what your word says, that you are a faithful father. I speak that because your word says goodness and mercy for the days of our lives. So I mark this day in the book of heaven, a day that our names or God will be called out, Abba, Father, Father, that you are marking it down and that this is a day that you have set apart for us to yes, turn God. things around because of our heart posture of mercy, because yes, of being God. willing to serve the people yes, around God. us, because of that surrender to him, because we are yielding yes, to the God. Holy Spirit, because yes, we are no longer God. cursing each other, yes, because we are in oh, his God. faithfulness and grace, all oh, that you will turn things around. Oh, That's what you so want good. from us. Thank you, Jesus, for showing your heart to those who are willing to see it. And those who are yes. blinded, Lord God, those who are blinded, yes. we leave them to you. We leave them to you to open their eyes to Please see what's do happening. It in the name those of who Jesus. are like a better oh, that, 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 that you will move them out of our way. Lord God, let like no them not stand in our way or people, Lord God. If there's yes, any God. person that's standing in our way that's Please trying to block us, Lord God, God. God. That you remove them in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, let that be, Lord God, that your word will be fulfilled, that the angel of the Lord has gone before us and declared victory. So, Lord God, I ask that you release your angels of heaven now, Lord God, and remove every single one. Block, whether that be a mindset or a thought or a person in the name of Jesus Christ, whether that be something God. from the evil one. Lord God, I ask that you will yes. remove it by force, remove it by fire in the name of Jesus. Whatever is standing in between us and victory, that you will cancel that thing out. Any word or incantation in the name of Jesus, you'll shut it down now. Oh God, we come to October 2025. We see anything not like you. We see victory. We have nothing but mouths to praise and glorify. Yes, and say, look Lord, what you have you done, God. Yahweh. Oh, look what you have done for us. Oh, God of God. Oh, Lord of Lord. Look at what my Lord and Savior has done for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Shirek. Thank you, God, that there's a testimony for me this morning. Thank you, God, that they even make it their way out of nowhere. Thank you, God, that there is victory. Jesus, you do it over and over, God. Thank you, God. Thank you that I can see it right now in my season. God, when I have every single thing I want, I can see the victory that we need to learn. Thank you, Lord. I'm keeping my eyes focused on you. Thank you, Lord God, that there is no distraction. Thank you, God, there is no thought. There's nothing that's taking me away from you. Thank you, God. Lord, we bless you. Towards us. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your goodness, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Let there be Jesus. uncommon favor for your, your for us this morning. Lord God, let there be uncommon favor because of what we're about to do for each other, what we're going to do for our communities, for to be that safe space that you give us uncommon favor. Thank you, God, that you multiply in every, every area that we touch. Everything that our hands touch will be successful and productive. Thank you, God, for the favor, Lord God. Again, every home built, Lord God, every bed 
made, every meal prepared, everywhere we place our feet, everything that we do, Lord God, let it multiply in favor, the kind of favor that not only blesses us, but our generations behind us, Lord God, generations to come. Turn that page this morning. So October 2025, Lord God, it'll just be nothing but great God shouting hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It'll be a season of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Thank you for opening heaven for us this morning. Thank you for showing up for us this morning. In your name, we pray, Lord God. Now, as we go into declaration, open your mouth. and This is what he says about you. Thank you, Lord, that we declare this, this day that no weapon formed against me can, can prosper, prosper because I am because the right direction of God. God. Therefore, I am in the right place at the right time. I cannot be defeated and destroyed. Every time that accuses me, every time that attacks me, I can live with our words. This is my heritage. This is my right as a child of God. Made in his made in his authority living in me, coming forth out of my spirit, through my word. I declare today that Satan has no power over my life, that every weapon he has been defeated, that fear is cast out, that love makes my spirit Therefore, I cannot fail. God's word cannot fail, and that's where I'm going to go. His word, in His image, after His likeness, the power of the Holy Spirit, and the authority of my word. Therefore, by the blood of Jesus, I dwell, I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I walk under the shadows of the Almighty. I stay of the Lord. You are my refuge. God, I will trust. Father, we thank you. Release back the word say concerning every single one of us and we're believing it because this came from your holy word so lord god as you breathe life into us lord god i ask that you'll continue to breathe your favor upon us and your divine protection remind us lord god as we go through the rest of this week that we're made in your image we remind us lord god that every weapon every weapon the enemy has has been defeat us, defeated remind us remind us lord god that we're abiding under your shadow we we are we have your holy protection Remind us, Lord God, that every tongue that accuses us, every tongue that attacks us, you will condemn. You will condemn. You will condemn. And now, Lord, as we offer ourselves up as, as vessels, Lord God, who just want to be used by you, Lord God, we know that the enemy is going to strategize a plan to tell us that you, we, we're not worthy. We have no value. Uh, you don't even know what the right thing to say. God's not going to send anybody. You know the enemy is going to try to work these things out. Oh, but I thank you that the angel of the Lord has already already gone ahead and declared victory, that we are the right people in the right places at the right time, that you have blessed and marked us and set us apart. So we have nothing to worry about when the enemies come. Father God, just remind us, Lord God, in this season that we have your favor and we have your protection and we have your grace and everything you say about us is true. It's not what the world says, it's what you say. So I thank you, God, that you will implant these words in our heart. No matter how many times we say these declarations, Lord God, they become a part of us because you said them to us. So we are in alignment. We agree with what heaven says about us. We are never going to be imposters. We are never going to have a syndrome. We are not ill. We are not imposters because we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We have your power and authority in us so we can do all things. That's what your word says. We don't have to fear, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus, for what your word says. Thank you for your holy declaration this morning. And for those who are watching this, if you want to be born again, if you want to give your life to Christ, or if you want to recommit, this is a very simple prayer that I release. And if you're... Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God, that you died on the cross to rescue me from sin and death and to restore me to the father. I choose now to turn from my sins, my self-centeredness and every part of my life that does not please you. I choose you. I give myself to you. I receive your forgiveness and ask you to take your rightful place in my life as my savior and Lord. Come reign in my heart. Fill me with your love and your life. Restore me, Jesus. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. And if you have said this prayer and you have received the Lord Jesus as your Savior, the next thing you need to do is get into a Bible-based church. It don't matter if the church has two members or, or a thousand members. 
You must get into a Bible-based church. Why? Because I don't want you to go drink Kool-Aid and you get hyped up for a moment, you know, listening to a, 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 a teaching that makes you happy for a minute, but you don't understand what the word is saying. Bible-based church, meaning they're not, you know, they're not corrupting what he says. They're not teaching you how best to hate. They're not teaching you things that are focused on your, on just you. It's focused on Jesus, right? So you want to get into a church that offers that up. And if you don't know what church to go to, or if you need recommendations, if you're in our Facebook prayer ministry, you know, you can, you can pretty much roll through and see which churches we recommend. Okay. <laughs> churches that we have visited, we are members of, and they are Bible-based church. But choose for yourself. Ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do next? Lord, where do you want me to go to church? He will show you the next step on where you need to go. Amen. All right. So we have prayed. We are being watchful. And now we're just going to take a minute to just be thankful. To just be thankful. Just, just thank him for whatever it is that oh, he's doing. We thank you for just thank another you. Monday. I thank you that you brought us to the end thank of this you. month, Lord God. I thank you for thank you 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 this morning. I thank you for reminding us that we are yes. representing yes. you that we truly have you, Holy Thank Spirit, God. that you're a part of us. And and, and, and just, you know, just blessing us this morning for showing up as you always do. I thank you, Lord God, that, you know, I don't need a, a incantation to pull you down. I don't need to, you know, to, <laughs> I don't need to rile you up for you to show up, Holy Spirit. You are always and already here. So I thank you, Lord, that you're going to show up in such a mighty way for each and every one of us today. As we open our mouth, Lord God, I thank you for, you know, what you're going to do for us. I thank you for blessing us, for forgiving us and for loving us. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your grace. Now, Lord, I even thank you for uh, those you're going to send our way, you know, as we are, we're saying we want to be used by you. We want to be in partnership with you, Lord Jesus. So Holy Spirit, whoever you're going to send our way, we thank you for the encounters. We thank you for the smiles in the marketplace, even at Walmart. We thank you, Lord God, for those you're going to send now our way. We thank you for choosing us and, 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 um, and, and, you know, just loving us and forgiving us. We thank you for everything. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you for those you're sending now, those who have been assigned to us. And thank you, Lord, for the help of heaven. Amen. All right. Ephesians 3 20 says now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think. Hmm according to the power at work within us. <laughs> to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. All right. That's the benediction. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to stop the live and recording.